This is my 2024 Fat Moto Rover. <clears throat> and I'm going to do a walk around. I'll get closer uh, the next time around here. This is the front, obviously. <laughs> oh, yeah, I have a headlight on the back of my bike. No. Okay, and then we go around here. Eh, full start. Nice mirrors. Eh. Now, I didn't get with the saddlebags. They said I would, they were supposed to give me, uh, what is it, three-in-one panniers. Those are saddlebags off one of my old motorcycles. I like them. Probably, no. I still should get what I ordered, what they promised. Now, they came with this. That's from Fat Moto. And, uh, okay, back. My turn signals. A little, uh, blinky light here. And then these are nice wireless, uh, rechargeable turn signals. And yes, you can sync two sets because you get only, um, well, you get two in a package. But you can sync them up. Okay. Got a little helmet lock thing. A little better look at the saddlebags. See, that's why I like them. Okay. Everything else is pretty stock back here. Oh, yeah. Mm, the seats you don't think about while you're riding. And, uh, oh, yeah. Change the pedals. Put the uh, Shin Rippers 2000s on there. Yeah. I. I Slipped off pedals before. It's not a good thing. I'd rather skin my uh, my shit a little bit on this than on my whole body. So uh, yeah. What do we got on the? Oh, we haven't got all the way around yet. Okay. And then uh, the headlight. Uh, and they didn't pack the inside. The battery was poorly held in place with one little wire, a uh, zip tie, and it slipped out of that, and I don't know if it damaged the circuit board or not, but it's a, uh, what's it, the circuit board is parasitic. It'll totally drain the battery from fully charged overnight. Otherwise, it worked fine. So I, I put one of my RC uh, car batteries, actually it's a battery I made, but for an RC car, and uh, put an actual switch on the battery. And then this is on, off, high, low. Uh, and that was, that's how it was, but I put this one in. And then down here, I have a battery, oh, it's way under there. I got, oh, here it is. I don't know if you can see that or not. It's a balance lead, the charge. Instead of using the charge port that used to be here. And it works great. But they sent me another one. And it's it's a totally different wiring. I uh, haven't looked enough to figure it out. But it does the same thing. It drains the battery down overnight when it's turned off, mind you. And uh, I picked this up, little tool bag off of Timu. And uh, it works. Got my tools in there. And, and some other crap in the back bags. We're not going to go through that now. And let's see. Cockpit. We got these fancy mirrors with flames on them. The vibrators. I can see now with this one. Uh, and then this is my horn. <coughs> Whatever. And uh, turn signals and flashers. You guys know what that is. Um, this is how I put my um, TAC uh, hour meter. I printed these brackets here in my 3D printer and uh, they work good. I had to modify them a little bit. I use Tinkercad, kind of like Tinker Toys and Color Forms. Except it's online. Okay. And then, you know, a Shimano shifter thing. See, if I'm going to have to 
put this over here. And they got these darn short brake levers. Ah, this thing's got hydraulic brakes, so you barely have to squeeze them. Oh, on the brake thing, here's a, is it the, this back here? Yeah. Look at the size of that thing. Oh, yeah, it stops. Okay, that's about it. I'm going to ride home now. I forgot to add how I hooked these on. It's a piece of PVC pipe stuck under there. Uh, with some, uh, a screw through it. And then, and I think it's three quarter inch, and then I printed these bar ends. I just upsized them. So it's kind of probably hard to see. Let's see. These here. Let's see if we can see this better. Yeah, pretty easy print. And then up front here, I kind of did the same thing. But I, I can get at the. Ooh, that one's loose. Uh, oh, good, I didn't lose the other one. Anyways, uh, uh, PVC pipe cat. And uh, a, the. I drill the hole so the bolt that holds the light on, I can put it through there and then to get to it I can take this cap off. And uh, that's what it looks like. Like a bar end, except it won't fit in bars anymore. Because now it's made to fit the PVC. I gotta tighten that. So yeah. Oh well, yeah, I got this. Uh, this thing here, or whatever it's called, and then I printed uh, spacers so that the phone, to make this bar the same diameter as a handlebar. Anyways, okay, that's it for now.